Tanya here. Thanks for watching. Welcome to another edition of Thursday's Treasure or Trash Mascara Time. Today we are reviewing the Marc Jacobs Mascara, and this one's called Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara. You know, I'm able to see the Marc Jacobs because it's kind of in silver, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the brush on this. This is just a deluxe sample size that I picked up from Sephora. It's just got a pretty regular size brush on it. The bristles seem fairly normal. They're not rubberized. They just seem to be regular bristles. It's a little bit thicker at the bottom and then it kind of goes to a tip, but not really significant. I do have some footage of me applying this mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and insert that now so you guys can see what it does first coat. She don't know what she wants to be with all the pictures in the magazines holding hands when she's mad at me cause she don't wanna go, don't wanna go met her at anthropology purple boots in her golden dreams standing there like a Tennessee queen singing don't look at me, don't look at me singing oh oh won't you help me sing this song singing ee 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 she don't ever want to go to sleep. I right before I filmed this video, I did try adding a couple other coats on to see what it would do. And I definitely noticed on my left eye here some spider lashes, like they're clumping together. I can't seem to get them to separate. The right eye seems to have stayed pretty much separated, but the left eye is definitely more clumpy. I'm going to zoom in and give you guys a really close look on that. So as you can see, the right eye is normal. The left eye definitely has some spidering. Not anything major, but there's definitely some spidering there. I'm going to go ahead and wear this mascara now for the next 9 to 10 hours, depending on what time I can get back here to film. And when that's done, I will give you guys my overall final review on this Marc Jacobs mascara. So guys, it has been almost 9 hours since I applied this mascara to my eyes. I have touched up my lips. I'm liking them. What I do notice with mascara is I didn't notice any flaking or smudging, which is good. It lasted a good nine hours. However, I did put some on my bottom lashes, and I don't know if it smudged because I touched it or if it smudged because I wore it all day. So don't necessarily hold that against it. Overall, I would say this mascara was lengthening for me, but not volumizing, and it, uh, its claim is that it's volumizing. So for me, based on its claim, this would be a trash mascara. Based on how it works, it would be an okay mascara. I wouldn't call it a treasure. It's not something that you need to run out and buy. I don't know. I'm just not really a fan of this one. So I would say overall, based on the fact that they call it a lash volumizing mascara, I would say it's definitely a trash product. If you're looking for a mascara that will give you some length and you only like one coat, then this might be a good product for you. Sometimes treasures or trashes are not one or the other. They're somewhere in between. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you found it helpful and I will see you next Thursday for another mascara, treasure, or trash. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let your heart come out, run away with me, we could dance all night, if you stay